I created the Imperial Ice Stars way back in 2004 because I wanted to do my own style of ice dance on theatre stage. I'd been to see ice shows before but they're usually in big ice arenas where you know, you're on a plastic sea and the ice skating might be too far away and it's cold so I didn't really enjoy that and I thought wouldn't it be great if you could see ice dance in the intimacy of theatre. So in 2004 I did my first show, Sleeping Beauty on Ice. Uh, using the beautiful music of Tchaikovsky and then 2006 I came up with the idea to do Swan Lake and do that on ice, again using the beautiful music of Tchaikovsky. What we're not doing is we're not doing ballet on ice, everybody thinks this is going to be a copy of the ballet, which is not, I mean ballet is ballet and ice dance is ice dance, um, and what we're doing is we're actually using the storyboard of Tchaikovsky. The composer actually wrote his own storyboard and there afterwards the very first choreographer of the ballet which was Petipa, he changed it and then Ivanov changed it. So what you're actually going to see is a very original version, Tchaikovsky's storyboard, and that's the interpretation that we're doing, along with some details which I've added in myself, which are today, you know, so it makes the story more approachable or more believable. So I always think, you know, you have to engage your audience, they have to believe in your characters that you're playing, Prince Siegfried and Adet and Adil. That's our biggest difference, because the ballet, they use one dancer to do a dance and a deal. Whereas, and that's not real for me, that you know, if I'm watching the show, I can see it's one person doing the same thing. So I've added in those two girls, so you can see the real conflict of the heart that Prince Siegfried has. I think, you know, for me, we've been really lucky. When we set out Swan Lake on Ice way back in 2006, myself and my producing partner, James Cundall, we thought that maybe we would tour, you know, maybe two or three countries for maybe three or four months. Um, this is country 29. We've been watched now by over four million people. So what's the opinions of critics, which have been beautiful along the way? You know, one of the nicest things that I read was somebody comparing us and saying, we're doing for Ice Dance what Cirque du Soleil did for Circus, which was bring it to uh, a bigger and more popular audience. Same with, you know, Pavarotti and Opera. <music> Imperial Ice Stars, we're based in, over in Moscow and uh, we have our training bases there, we have our ice rinks there. So what happens is, I mean, apart from having the ice rinks, we also have theatre stages. We all know that they're great skaters. We have over 250 medals, you know, competition medals between them. Um, so the skating, we know that they can do that. We know that they're great blade technicians. What you have to give to them, and this is why we have a stage there, is the ability to present a character, to bring the character to life. It's not just about going out there and jumping and spinning, but it's about presenting so that Olga Sheratenko, who performs Adet, she has to convey that there's a character there and people understand what's happening to that particular character through the length of the show. So I don't have to teach them anything about ice dance, we just have to teach them how to present. And thereafter you marry the disciplines together, which is what makes it quite unique, because you do, you have the excitement of seeing people moving at 30 or 35 kilometers an hour with great speed, doing great lift sequences, but then you have these beautiful moments of still as well, where you see the, you know, the, the delicacy of the choreography and the story all opening up. So they're very, very talented boys and girls. I'm very proud of them. 